2024 and as the school year finishes up, unfortunately, studies show that children and teens are at risk. During the summer months, cases of physical abuse, sexual abuse and neglect tend to rise. Joining us to talk more about that is DCAC family advocate Farley Morris. Good morning to you. Good morning. How are you doing? Glad to have you here. Uh, tell us about DCAC and what it does here in our community. Yeah, so um, DCAC is the only agency of its kind in Dallas. Um, it's a national leader in the Child Advocacy Center movement. Um, it's also recognized internationally um, for its expertise in identification, investigation, and prosecution of child abuse. Um, DCAC offers a variety of support services, and some of those support services are evidence-based therapy. Um, we also offer community education and professional education uh, within Dallas. You know, we just shared, unfortunately, that there is a trend year after year of an uptick in child abuse cases um, during the summer months. And why is this? Yeah, it's true. Um, so, you know, school can be a, a safe place, a mm -hmm. safe haven for many kids. Um, and so unfortunately, what we see happening is that children are spending more time with their abuser during the summer. Um, we know that abusers lots of times live within the home and are close to the family. Um, so summer ends and reports come out to teachers and, and those who they um, spent time with throughout the summer. Farley, you know, what are some signs that we need to be looking out for? Um, so yeah, we need to look at, you know, um, grooming is a big thing when it mm -hmm. comes to abuse, right? So it can be difficult to look at signs um, because they can look so normal. So we want to look at adults who are um, trying to build a strong sense of trust with children. Um, so lots of times giving them, um, you know, certain treats or trying to tell them um, that they are older than their than their age. Um, and then a big thing that we want to look for is adults who are telling children to keep secrets. Mm. Um, so a big reminder for parents this summer and always is that uh, there are no secrets um, when it comes to their parents. No, no one should be telling their kids to um, keep secrets from them. Right, that's a, that's a big one. Uh, let's talk about internet safety, right? Mom and dad, they may be at yeah. work um, during these summer months and, and yeah. the children are kind of idle on the internet and their devices. Um, what are the conversations that we should be having? Yeah, it's a great one. Um, so internet safety is a big thing. Um, lots of, there are lots of um, people out there who are trying to take advantage of children through the internet. Um, the biggest thing that I can say for internet safety is to um, be aware of the applications that are out there, as well as video games. Um, if your child has an app or is playing a game, you should know what that app is. You should have it on your phone, um, and you should be familiar with the games that they're playing. Um, you know, lots of times these games and these apps have private chat features, and lots of, you know, adults can be on there anonymously, you know, having, um, saying that they are a child of that, of that age. Um, and so to, to have these conversations with children. All right. Um, Farley, thank you so much uh, for joining us here on Daybreak. A lot of insight there. And I know people can reach out to you at dcac.org, right? Yes, correct. Okay. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll be right thank back you. after this break.